Hey guys, it's me Talhan. In this video, we will be modeling this wood pavilion in Revit. Before it started, I would like to suggest you check out my website, learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses, as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and as you can see, I have already opened this project. Now first, we want to create some new levels. Let's go to the south elevation here and i'm going to create two more levels here let's select this one and press cs on the keyboard to create similar let's create another one here now i'm going to select this one and make it 12 feet and uh, this one will be 10 feet and the last one also will be at 10 feet so we got our levels ready here now let's go back to level one and we'll create walls here so just press wa on the keyboard uh, to select walls and here uh, we'll just change the unconnected height to four feet and let's draw uh, a rectangle here we will create an 80 by 40 feet rectangle we'll just quickly drag this uh, to the center here perfect now I'm going to create uh, an opening here uh, for the door. So let's use split tool to split this wall. Just press SL on the keyboard and split this wall here. And then we can just drag it like this and make it five feet. And then select this wall and just drag this dimension here and make it six feet, which is going to be the width of the door. Perfect. Now first we will create the roof and then uh, we will create the curtain walls. So let's go to the top level here, level 4. And as you can see uh, the walls uh, are not visible here which we created on level 1. So to make them visible in this level uh, we can just change the uh, base level here uh, in the underlay. Let's select level 1. Now we got uh, these walls visible here which we can use. Uh, as a reference uh, to create the roof and I'm going to use uh, in place mass to create the roof design so let's go to massing insight here and select in place mass this dialog box will pop up just ignore this because it's just telling us that Revit has enabled the show mass mode which we can do by clicking here as well just close this uh, dialog box and I'm going to call it roof just click OK and let's select rectangle here and just give a uh, two feet offset and draw a rectangle here like this now i'm going to cut this uh, rectangle into half so just draw an angled line here like this and delete these two we'll just uh, mirror this part of this roof to the other side here so let's go to 3d and as you can see we got these lines here now uh, we want to create a surface or uh, or a form uh, in this shape to do that just select this line if you select it uh, it will automatically select the select the uh, other uh, joint lines as well now we can go here and click create form there we go we got this extrusion here but uh, we only wanted to create the flat surface here so uh, with this face selected we can just go here and click delete now if you notice it seems like nothing's changed here uh, if i change the visual style to shade it we'll be able to see uh, this uh, form here now uh, let's select this uh, just zoom in at the corner here and select this vertex or this dot if you are unable to select this you can just uh, hover over the corner and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this vertex uh, or this dot just select that and go to the front view and drag this until uh, the walls here we have created this shape uh, for the roof now we can just mirror it to the other side let's go to the top view here and select this make sure you have selected everything uh, in here then press dm on the keyboard to 
select the mirror tool then first we mirror it from the middle here just make sure copy is checked here then uh, we can mirror it from the middle like so and then we need to mirror it again uh, on the uh, on the other side so just press dm on the keyboard again but this time we don't want to create a duplicate of this so we just need to uncheck copy and this time we'll mirror it from the middle of this uh, line here perfect so if i orbit around you see we got seven thing like this now our uh, shape for the roof is ready but uh, you see it's still uh, just a form to convert it into uh, a roof we need to first click finish mass and go to architecture select uh, a roof by face from this drop down and then and just select the face here and click create roof make sure to create these two roofs separately otherwise it will make problem when we try to create a curtain wall later on so just select this face and click create roof there you go we got the roof here now let's repeat that with this side as well just click create roof perfect so the roof is now ready we can now create the curtain walls so let's go back to level one and first i'm going to create uh, the door here so let's select wall from here and select curtain wall from this drop down and then change the height here just make it seven feet which is going to be the height of the door and just create a curtain wall like this and let's go back to 3d and you see we got our wall here now we can just replace this panel with the door so let's load a door family into the projects go to doors folder here and uh, here we have the double door curtain wall family let's load that into the project and hover over the edge of this uh, curtain wall and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the panel just select just select the panel and we can replace that with the door from here perfect just change the detail level to fine to see these door handles now we can create the curtain wall let's go back to level one and press wa on the keyboard to select wall and then uh, we can just change the top constraint to level four and it's create a wall here like so let's go back to 3d and we need to edit this curtain wall let's select that edit profile go to the to the south elevation here and then draw lines around this door press sl on the keyboard to split this line and then just use tr and trim it so we have created this opening for the door let's click finish and uh, we got our curtain wall here now we can just select this and attach it to the roof just click here attach attach and just select the roof here perfect now if i zoom in here you see we got this uh, issue here at the corner of this to fix that we can just select this curtain wall and attach it to this side of the roof there you go that's what i was talking about earlier when we were creating the roofs if we had created this as a single roof we would not be able to fix this uh, corner of this uh, curtain wall that's why i created these two roofs separately anyway now let's create this staggered pattern here let's select this curtain wall edit type duplicate let's type four feet vertical grid for the reference then click ok uh, we can add the vertical grid here just select fixed distance in the layout and give the spacing four feet we are not going to add the horizontal grid here because uh, since we want to create the uh, staggered pattern we don't need to add the horizontal grid here we will add it later on using the curtain grid uh, you will understand in a moment what i'm trying to say let's click ok and there you go we got our vertical grid here now let's go back to south elevation and we will add uh, the horizontal grids here so let's go to architecture select curtain grid and select one segment here and just add a segment then we can select it and uh, make it six feet from the top now we can just copy this select that copy 
select this as a base point and now let's select this one and click here add or remove segments just leave the middle one and click here to add a new segment and we will repeat the same with the other grid lines as well now let's add a new grid line uh, on the middle panels here so let's select curtain grid one segment then if i hover over here it will snap the midpoint of these two let's click it and then we can just select that and create a copy perfect now let's select this one and add more segments here one at the corner here and repeat that with the uh, with the other uh, remaining ones as well so we got this staggered pattern ready here now let's go to 3d and add the mullions to these grid lines so let's select mullion from here select all grid lines and just select uh, the grid lines here there we go we created this staggered curtain wall panels here now i'm just going to mirror it to the other side so let's go back to level one and select this one dm for mirror make sure copy is checked because we want to create a new copy here so select copy and then mirror it from the middle let's click delete and we can just move it here just drag it to the wall and if i go to 3d we got something like this now we need to mirror this again because we want this part to be on that side so let's go back to level one again and select the curtain wall and press dm on the keyboard and this time we don't want to create a copy of this so just uncheck copy and mirror it from the middle of this wall here like so okay drag it to the corner here let's go back to 3d perfect now uh, we can just attach this uh, curtain wall to the roof select the curtain wall attach and just select the roof just ignore this warning so we got our curtain wall on this side as well let's fix this corner as well select that attach this time we will select this part of the roof perfect now i will just quickly uh, remove this opening which we created for the door on the other side so let's select this one edit profile note that go to the south elevation here and we have that here let's delete this one and use tr on the keyboard and just join these two lines now click finish click delete elements so perfect so we have created the curtain wall on this side as well now i will quickly use the same procedure to create the curtain wall on the uh, on these openings here so we have created this cool looking uh, wood pavilion in revit the video is already too long so i will stop this tutorial right here in the next part i will show you how to uh, create skylight on this kind of roof uh, in revit so stay tuned for that that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and to get this revit project file you can get it from my patreon all the links are in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video